Welcome on people, it's Mr. O back again with the previous show. I hope everyone's fit and um, well. And yes, Forrest are back at home again. Um, this time against Fulham. We need to win. I've had enough of just not winning games this year. One win and we've got Fulham. I'm not going to mention that game that we've got actually hammered. So I know this guy next to me, Freddie, will talk about it. Uh, but if you are new to my channel, please do hit the like button. Subscribe if you do. And comment below, people, what is your score prediction for tomorrow's game? But before, before we do start, um, it's good to see my guy Kevin Campbell back uh, at the hybrid squad as well. He's been, he's been off the radio for quite a while, but he is back. And we're hopefully, we're getting back on the channel as well. So, Kevin, if you're watching this, get back on the channel. it would be nice. But, yeah. Right, Kevin, hope you're well, my friend. Right, um, we had to get him on. The legend and some guy, some stranger next to him as well. The man himself, Freddie. How you doing, Freddie? Good. I asked for you and not for the guy next to you. Why is he on? <laughs> Why is he on? I asked for you, not for him. Because I don't want him rubbing it in after what happened last time. Why? Did, did you him. Not him? What do you mean you're protecting him? People just chat. I asked for Freddie. I didn't ask for Alan because I know he's going to give me so much ammo after what happened last time. So, Freddie, come on, why? Um, okay. And where's the scarf? Where's that scarf I gave you? Where's the scarf? So, show the people in the chat. I gave Freddie the scarf. He's not got it. Show the scarf, Freddie. That's it. He has got the Nottingham Forest scarf that I gave him when Forest went to Fulham. And he's not wearing it. Come on, Freddie. <laughs> you got to put it on for a day. That's it. That's all. That's all. But uh, let, let, let's get it. We've got the man himself, Alan, as well. Alan, Freddie, how are you doing? Yeah, we're good, thank you. We're excited for tomorrow. We are excited. excited but uh, we have to talk about it. before. We have to talk about that game at Clover Cottage when you absolutely hammered us as well. And people in the chat, it's really question for Alan or Flew, for Freddie. Not for Alan, for Freddie. Because I don't want look that smirk on that Alan's face. Where he, you can see, look at him. That smirk on his face. That's the debate is five nil. Um, but yeah, people, listen. If there's any questions for, for, for Alan, please do. Let's get in the chat. Let's get in the chat first uh, before we do. Uh, let's see. Beat Fulham on sports. We are safe. I hope. I just hope we are. Hope we do. Uh, had a even in the store. I'm proud. A proud red. Yes, we are. Uh, what does it kill us? Makes us stronger. Yeah, we got, we've got to win. It's simple as that. Uh, Eve, good evening, Mr. I hope you're well. I'm predicting 2 1 to Forest. I predict any result, um, any win, a goal. That, and, um, yeah, that would be great. Uh, Colin, 1 0 to Forest. Yes, I'm uh, any result, Colin, as well. And if people, if you do want to be a member to the channel, just hit the join button. That's all you're going to do, hit the join button, and it's cost 99p to be a member to the channel. You get exclusive, exclusive videos before it comes out for anyone. So if you do want to be a member, hit the join button and it helps the channel. And if you want to be any super chats to my channel as well, it helps the channel a lot. Uh, another legend, Rad Raz Dad. Even guys, I'll see it one note tomorrow. We've got to improve. Come on, US. Raz Dad, we've got to. We've got to. And I'll see you before the game as well. Uh, KT, how you doing? Evening. Fingers crossed for a win. Yes. I'm, I'm praying because we need revenge. We need revenge. And look, He's always smirking because I've got, I've got to answer the question, boys fans. Alan, no, Freddie, let me ask Freddie first. When you beat us 5 0, how was you feeling? Um... And people in right, the chat as well, show some love to Freddie, not, not Alan. But get, show some love to, to Freddie. He's got the forest scarf on, so let's show some love to, to my own soul, Freddie. Freddie, how was you feeling about the, the 5 0 result? Good, but in your side, um, you were probably embarrassed. <laughs> I was. I thought, I thought we were friends. <laughs> I thought we were friends, Freddie. Do you want to sing that song again, Freddie? No, nah, I don't want to sing that song. Freddie, no, come on. Freddie, thought... Freddie, remember? Freddie, I gave you the memo. Be nice to me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because that result is a bit touchy to fear. Come on. I'm joking, for them. but people love like this. Show, please show some love to Freddie and Alan. They're, they're fantastic people. They want to show love to my channel as well. So please show some love to them. Alan, let, let, let's talk about Alan. Um, 5 0. Like I said, I, I thought the, the first 20 minutes we was all right. But mm -hmm. then you've got the first goal 
and then it went all downhill. On a on a Fulham fan point of view, how how was it that night? From a Fulham fan's point of view, it was the perfect evening. A uh, clean sheet, a win, and five goals in a process. But as you said, the first 20 minutes was competitive. You probably had more of the ball. You're probably better than us for the first 20 minutes. But yeah, it was. Yeah, and as soon as we scored, that was it. The heads went down. And it was sort of the old, oh, here we go again scenario. Um, and I think we spoke a lot after the game um, mm. with Dave and Malcolm. And when 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 teams generally give up like that after the first goal goes in, it's it's sort of curtains for the manager. Um, and yet it wasn't a good night from from your point of view. Um, but we actually then four days later beat West Ham five 0 at home as well. So it was quite a good week for us. So you wasn't the only team that we managed to to beat five nil that week. But yeah, it was a nice game for us, not for yourselves. Um, but I don't expect anything like that tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, it was it was a, a good result and yeah, one we look back on fondly when the season ends, I'm sure. Mm. Let's go. When, when, when you when you, when you scored that first goal, and I thought like, and you've got to give credit Fulham some credit as well because William, how old is he? He's about. I, I remember the day when William was so close to signing for Forest. Alice messaged me and said, "Oh, get rid of him anyway." And then he just twisted and said, "No, he's still at Fulham." And then again, soon messaged him, "Oh, he's still at a better club." But <laughs> the guy just took the guy took the mick out of us. He took the mick out of us and. I thought, wow, this guy's really taking the mick out of us. And like, um, who was it? Raul Jimenez. Jimenez, yeah. A couple that he scored. Was, he just, oh, I thought, he's taking, the, he's taking the mick. But as a full of fun, right? Are you surprised that William is like, for me, he's, he steps up a next level from last season. Because I thought, you, you all see like, players like, oh, they're not going to be the next uh, upgrade and stuff. But he's, he's been past few, hasn't it? Yeah, he's brilliant, uh, and he's like a fine wine. He just gets better with age. Uh, we are lucky to have him. We we gratefully stayed. He chose us over than yourselves. Um, I think the Brazilian connection we have at the club already was a big help for him staying. But yeah, just seeing him play makes such a difference to the way we play. Um, but yeah, we've, we're very glad to have him. Um, and Freddie, what do you make of William? Good. Good. Can, can he come to fight for then? Can we have William? Uh, no. Oh, I miss him. Yes, man. Yes, sir. He always uh, seems to perform well against you as well. He always does. He always does play good against How old is he? Is he 36? 36? He's 36, 37, yeah. So, I mean, he's still a top, he's still a top class player. Yeah. Um, but let, let, let's, talk, let's talk about your manager. Because me personally, man, I said to you a little long ago. I didn't rate, I didn't rate Silver. But mm. he, he got you going and, he, and you're, you're top 10-10 team. Is he mm. top 10? No, nah, we're 12 at the minute. You're 12 in the league. The league, yeah. the league but are, are you getting... Uh, what, what's your opinion on him? That's, you are doing... I expect the to be between I don't know, mid, mid-table. Mm. But what's your opinion on him? Yeah, he's, he's phenomenal. He's done... He's done nothing but wonders for us. Uh, the, the football's great. You can always, you always know we're going to turn up uh, one way or another. We don't really get on the end of a hiding, which is quite rare for us in a Premier League anyway, especially recently. But we have no problems with Silva. Uh, great manager. And I do think by the time he leaves, he will go down as probably one of the greatest managers that we've ever had without winning anything major. We've never won anything major anyway, but... Just what he's done for us, getting us promoted in his first season, finishing 10th last season. And we do have a good chance of replicating that again this season if we can get a few more wins towards the end of the last nine games. You know, we've not got nothing to play for effectively. Uh, Europe is within touching distance, you know, not touching distance, but it's there. Uh, Europa League. I'm jealous, man. I'm, you know, I'm jealous when you say that. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's but we, we talk about you. You want to get Rumble fans on here and talk about Europe, and we're just fighting. The relegation. I'm so jealous. Boy, yeah. are you jealous? I, I this am. time next season, roles could easily be reversed. So we I don't so. take we don't take where we are for granted uh, mm. at all. You know, being a Fulham fan in the Premier League is is great enough without having to worry about 
you know, top eight, top six, bottom three. We're just enjoying a roller coaster. Um, and yeah, under silver, it's it's all all engines go sort of thing. So yeah, mm. we love silver. Mm. Uh, people in chat, please do hit the like button if you can. Um, Rush verse, and as a Fulham fan, it's been a roller coaster for Forest. Um, as you know, last year you actually battered us. What what was your thought? What's your thoughts on Forest now with everything, that everything's happening? Can I answer that first? Um, Come on, Alan, say Fred, say something nice. Come on. <laughs> no pressure. Um, no pressure. They're doing all right, aren't they? Yeah. We do Are always sure? look out for we always look out for forest results. Um many wait, because we wait, wait, wait. before we do wait, hey Alan, before we do, why didn't you back at Sheffield United? I know you, um it's free free, but come on man, do, you could have just won the game for us. Uh, you don't need to worry about Sheffield United. Um they they're, they're not the team you they need to anyway, anyway. They're they're nice. down. No, Sheffield United are um yeah, we sort of I don't know, it was we were naive. I think that's the best way to put it. The first forty five first 45 minutes we were definitely naive um our football was too slow i think we were just being patient waiting for that first goal to come and then when we did up the intensity we scored two goals in the last few minutes and probably could have won the game at the end but just looking at forest now the way the financial fair play situation is is happening still happening is ridiculous uh you don't know where you stand everton don't know where they stand luton don't know where they stand but out of those three clubs, I couldn't care less about Luton or Everton. I hope they both go down. As long as you're in the league next season. Really? That's all I care about. You know, we Why Everton? Why Everton? Why Explain. Why Everton? Because I prefer Forest. So, <laughs> you know, it could be anyone else down there. Um, but no, it's... I, I really hope you get out of the situation you're in. Um, and I hope the appeal goes your way, because it did for Everton. Um, yeah. And I think Everton's got, Everton's got another pill this week. I'm sure. I'm sure they have. I don't, I don't know if everyone, everyone, if anyone noticed, they've got um, there was a lot. There's another lost 255 million. I think it was this this again. So they went, they went, they the, the general understanding yeah. I get from all of this is the Brennan Johnson sale. If it would have gone through a few weeks before, you would have been fine. I could be incorrect mm -hmm. in saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all revolves around that one sale, which I think is a bit harsh to be deducted six points and then you get two points given back for writing a really nice email which is good <laughs> Again, i don't think anyone really knows what they're doing they just like to hand out points deductions to anyone that breaks any sort of rules um but yeah ultimately i hope you're in the premier league next season and as a fulham fan looking and looking from the outside i have no pro i have no concerns about you guys come the end of the season as long as the financial fair play don't sort of Give you any more points deductions or muck about with anything else on football in terms i'm very confident you'll stay up mm. what what's your thoughts on you know the last of forest manager because as a forest fan um as you know the love that we have to see people was amazing but it's coming to the club and one win of um this season this, this year so what's your well, I said, from outside looking in do you think for, do you think I or all Forest fans got to trust Nuno or are you still iffy about it? Because, because, because you're not, because you're not, you're not, you're not the same with Civil, weren't you? When Civil come in. So, yeah. I don't know, uh, should, we, should we be the same? So the, the problem that he's got as well, I sympathise with him a little bit because anyone that was going to come in after Cooper, after the job mm. he done, was always facing an uphill battle, not only to win over the fans, but to also gain the trust of the supporters. Now, one win in 11, is it now for you yeah. guys? It's not good enough. Ultimately, it's not good enough. You have had a few fixtures in there which you sort of look at and go, well, that's got to be three points. Now, I'm under no illusions that tomorrow for you is, is huge. Yeah. Uh, it's a game you look at and go, well, we can win that and we probably should win that at home under the lights of the City Grant. Um, it just depends whether he can find the balance right. Because I watched some of the highlights from the Palace game on Saturday, mm. and the, the Palace had a lot of chances. But they, they did. They I did. And they had no chances. Had those chances. Um, but you also had chances, so I think it's important for Santos to firstly shore the defence up. Because if you keep leaking goals, then you're making the task bigger than it needs to be. Because you have the players up top. You have Alenga, Hudson Odoi. You have the players. 
at the top end of the pitch. You have to make sure that you can keep the clean sheets and, and keep the goals out. Um, and unfortunately for you, maybe unfortunately for you, you have one of the most informed strikers in in the Premier League you come up against tomorrow. Um, maybe we can get on to Muniz, but I have no Chris idea what's Ward. happening. You hear about, about Chris Ward? I was actually talking about Muniz, um, but you have oh, Chris oh, Ward. Yeah. Oh, I was going to talk about him. That's the <laughs> thing. Because this, right, I, this, I watched the highlights from Sheffield United and Fulham. And that flick he did in the first half, I thought, and I remember Raul Nemeth did, did against Forrest. Uh, you know, I, I think if he does that tomorrow at the seat ground, that's what's taking a mick. <laughs> and it, it, I don't, it, 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 whoever plays centre back, if it's Muller, Felipe, I'm a bomber daily, don't do it to us because that would be embarrassing. Okay, so you tell, tell me why, because it, it came under the radar for us to face. So tell, tell us, what, what's, is he been good for you? No. I'll let Freddie start on Moon. Go on, Freddie. I'll add to it. I'm sick of telling him Alan's voice. Yeah, <laughs> so am I. Sorry. <laughs> Go on, Freddie. So, Burnley was kind of where it started. Everybody thought he was like, like, everybody was like weird about him. Some people think he was good, some people think he was bad. But then he just changed. He just changed massively. And now he's banging in goals. Yeah, yeah, he's he's just going for form, man. And that's why if he if he's like that against Spurs, like our defense has been leaky. He he just have he he score five. Tomorrow. You know what it is, Ben. Right, I've followed Fulham for nearly thirty years now. You know, I'm thirty. I've been going for nearly thirty years, and I've never seen an improvement in a player. Yeah, in anyone. It's because the thing is, with some players you look at and you go, well, you can see something there. There's some potential. There's something about them. But with Muniz, he he looked like he had nothing about him. He was on loan at Middlesbrough last year and was fourth choice. Um, and Freddie was right. We went to Burnley this season. And we saw the team news come out and we saw Muniz start ahead of Roja. And we thought, why on earth has that happened? Mm. And he, he scored his first Premier League goal and he's not looked back. He's He's jumped up levels and levels and levels in such a short space of time that the goal against Sheffield United on the weekend just proves that his confidence is high and he's got the Brazilians around him now to be able to help him and he's flying and you do need to stop him tomorrow you're going to have a tough ass doing that but oh he's, damn he's, worried, he's, man he's, he's brilliant he's don't, so no, brilliant. I'm not worried we've got Murillo to stop him I've got our Brazilian to stop him hopefully we can <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let's, give, let's give it a chat as well. Uh, shout out, how are you doing, my friend Glenn? Uh, good evening, Thor, Alan, and Freddie. Uh, got a really good feeling about the match tomorrow. Hopefully, you'll win the forest. Hopefully, to catch up with you both before kickoff. Yeah, um, yeah, Glenn messaged me. I think that's what we'll be. Uh, we're meeting um, Alan and Freddie at the Willing and Gun pub tomorrow. So, yeah, Glenn, I'll meet you there tomorrow. So, yeah, and if people feel free to uh, hit the like button if you can um I can, I can talk about so many good players for Fulham I love um is it pa 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 Paulina the, the midfielder Paulina yeah I love him man I like yeah. I, I like him I like I like, I like your team man the, the, yeah. the cooking forward like, like I said I couldn't quite like I said we were awful and um going forward like I said I, 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 like I watched the United game and you're a good team man going forward like it's skipping goals, but going forward, you're, you're good. But the thing I'm, is, the I'm, goals we can the goals we conceded on Saturday was of our own doing. All three mm -hmm. goals were easily avoidable. The first, the first and the third were comical mistakes. Uh, the second goal was you can put it down to good thinking from their point of view or s slow reaction from our point of view. But when we turn it on, we are a decent team to watch. Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest, we're probably not the team you want to be playing at this moment in time when you're no, going for a win. And, you know, I, as you know, I got a, a huge affection towards Forrest, mainly because of the likes of yourself, uh, Uncle Dave, he calls him yes. that. Um, who's it? Top guy, Malcolm, and a few others. Um, you know, Alan, we, don't, Alan, don't praise Malcolm. He's got, he's got a big head of himself. Anyway, don't praise, don't praise Alan. No, but we want to see you do well. Um, and I hope you do. As I said, tomorrow is going to be a, a fun game, and you know, it's his, his first time to the city ground. It's your first uh, time, yeah. Oh, you've got to walk around the ground, then I'll be there. 
Don't yeah. worry, babe. We'll, I will, I will have a walk around with you tomorrow. The every, meeting, time I, I won. Uh, huh? every time we've been there, we've I, we've won. Well, I've been there, we've won. So yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. We don't want to talk about that tomorrow and say, Alan, see, Alan, this is why I don't want you on the. This is this is why I want Freddie on the show because Alan's going to rub it in because as you know, last season we lost three two. We was one nil up with Tower one day, and, and they just battered us after, um, after that. So I mean, ten minutes in the second half, you switched off. Yeah, and you, you remember the last time? I think last time we beat you at the sick one. What was it? Was it five three? Was it five five three? I think it was. Yeah, that um, was early two thousand. Yeah. Wasn't that a Tuesday game? It was a Tuesday game, wasn't it? Yeah, three game. Hence you going five three five five three again. That that would be good, wasn't it? That'd be good. To be, I can see I'm that ready. happening. I can see it happening. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm not. People, people, in the chat. How confident are you? Are you? Are you confident tomorrow? You know, I've done a poll as well. But if you haven't, please get involved. I've done a, uh, my usual. So, who's going to win? Sixty-eight says Forest. Thirteen percent says Draw, and nineteen percent says Fulham. Bloody hell! So, people in the chat, what did you vote for? Did you put? Win, lose, or draw. So if you have put W, put D, or put L in the, in the comment section as well. And if you are on Facebook as well, you get involved as well. Um, two questions, two more questions, Alan. Like, on Friday. Are, are you happy with your position, or do you prefer to be a little bit up, uh, higher? You still. Go on, Friday. Uh, are you happy with the position we're in? So we're 12 yeah. to the moment. Or would you rather be higher? Uh, well, I think it's the away games that got us. We had some easy away games, including Sheffield United. And, like, we should win at your place. But we don't know we've been... <laughs> <laughs> You've been warned. You've been warned again as you're in second strike. <laughs> this is why I'm here, Ben, to, to protect him, you see. You know, next time, you know what, Freddie? If you want to come by yourself, just come by yourself. You can sit in the forest then. I know Malcolm's watching this. So, Malcolm, Freddie's going to sit next to him, you can, you can have Malcolm next to him because Malcolm's annoying. He's very annoying when we're losing. So, if we if we, if we do lose, I'm not looking forward to Malcolm next to me. I know Malcolm. What, Malcolm, put a thumbs up, Malcolm, if you're watching. Um... Yeah, we have, to be where we, are. we have to be, you know, because we're not we're not naive. I think as a fan base, I like to think we're we're quite level headed, um, and we do appreciate where we are. We're West Ham, no, you know, it's good to say that because you lot are, and I see West Ham, but when we beat them, they were, they were upset. Like Moy's not doing. They was ninth in the league, I think. I don't understand what, what they expect as a fan base. They because I work in South London and there's a lot of West Ham fans there mm -hmm. and they're a bit oh we don't know about David Moyes and it's like hold on a minute you won a trophy last season you're top 10 this year you've not really made too many signings what more do you want out of a manager you know there's a lot of clubs in the Premier League that would would love to be where West Ham are at the minute um probably are us ourselves so just be careful what you wish for but we're not talking about West Ham we don't really like them either so yeah nah. <laughs> But no, no we're twelfth. We have a, we're enjoying it, and I think for us personally as well. You know, he's done near enough every game this season, home and away, so he's ticking mm. up the grounds. His first away win was actually at Old Trafford. I know you FaceTime me with that, uh, Uncle Dave. It was uh, brilliant. Yeah, I, I, but when I saw when I saw the result, I come back from what was it after Miller away? Really, yeah. I saw the result and I thought, let me. And it's Freddie's first win as away as well. I thought, let me FaceTime, and his face was just banging. Yeah, like, what the hell? It, well, he's been one away game. He's, he's been to seventeen now, so tomorrow could be two from eighteen. Um, but Again, well, you know, no, no, Alan, come on, man. I know I you're know. a fan, but come on, brother. I do apologize in advance, but you are going to lose. Sorry, I do, <laughs> if you do cry, pardon. If, if you do cry tomorrow, I do apologize in advance. So Is we he are going to sing that song to you again if we win. What song? What song was it? Go on. Uh, I, I, I just forgot. You forgot, Mr. What song was it? What's the score? <laughs> no, nah, people don't. Right, this is the score. All right. If people saw that, I put the vlog in the description. At the end, Freddie <laughs> thought he was smart and singing a song. So watch the vlog at the end. I'll put it in the link now so people can watch it. 
He thought it was <laughs> no, you're not doing that to me now. You're not doing that to me. Not a chance, brother. Thought it was me, so I want my scarf back. It, it was, was such a, it was such a good night, though. No, it was a really good night. Like the book, when uh, myself, Malcolm, and Dave went there, uh, Alan uh, went to a pub, had a nice drink. Um, it was a good chat as well. Walked the ground. No, no, got us a taxi there. And yeah, um, it, 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 it was like, I, the thing about Fulham, it's one of the best away trips because, like I said, nice atmosphere, nice food, and a, and a good environment as well. The only, the only thing about that ground is that is the, is the, new, is the new bit of it that's expensive. As well, yeah. that, that but far from that, I, I love going full away. I love going full away. So, yeah. but yeah, first if you if you, yeah. if you have first if you've been to like, Fulham, how do, what, how do you rate it? So I, I like going full away. So, but yeah, why? Right. Last but not least, Freddie and Alan, uh, people in the chat as well. Get your score predictions now. Um, like I said, I'll be here tomorrow uh, to do my, my usual what I do. Um, Alan, no, Freddie. Let me go, Freddie. What is your score prediction? One one. A, a what? One one. Tell him what you really think. It's not what you said before we went live. <laughs> what you said you really think for? No, you didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? You said one one, didn't you? I think one one. I think that's what's going to happen, but I want it to be two one. I'll take that from you. You're full and fine. You can't just be. You've got to be. You've got to. You sport full of. You want to win. So I respect that. Yeah, respect we that. are. Yeah. We are. But let me, let me, let me say, Mark, I'm, I'm not confident at all tomorrow. I don't, am I allowed, let's say, I said it on my review show. Am I allowed to say Nuno out? I don't, like, if we do lose tomorrow, that's where my head's getting to. But are you nearly I there? Huh? Are you nearly there with the Nuno out? And it, it, do a lot of other forest. The fans. problem is, right, Alan, and as well, forest fans get involved in what I say, right? I, remember last year with Leeds, they sat their manager, at the, uh, they brought in Big Sam. Yeah, and last three everyone, everyone's seen what happened with them. They got relegated with, with that. I don't want to be like that. And if we go down with Nuno, I want him gone. Mm. It's simple as that because when. Oh, I get, I get pelts for this. When Steve Cooper was at Forest, we was it in the bottom three. If Nuno, if Nuno gets his relegator, he's not doing his job. That's simple as that. But right now, we're, we're, we're off, we're out of bottom three, of goal difference. And if we lose tomorrow, and I know Luton's got, Luton's got um, Arsenal, I think now. I think it's, um, what is it, Wednesday? I think we're playing Wednesday, I think. Um, yeah, I'm 50 50. See, we got Luton last game of the season, beat them, then... please. Too. Yeah, but you, you want to bother doing it. You know, like you, you, the thing that, right, Alan, you know, you, you say if you've got fit to play for, and Luton have that's yeah. that's my issue. But, uh, but our issue is with us, it's the better the opponent, the better, the better we play. Again, we took our foot off the pedal on Saturday and we just sort of expected it to be easy. Yeah. Which is why I'm I'm quietly confident about tomorrow if we turn up. And it's that big if. I think it's more if what we do tomorrow in the sense that if we if we show up and we every one of the players is on it, it's gonna it could be a tough night for yourselves. But we've not seen yeah. many of them away from home this season. Um mm. But I think if we're in and around eighth come last game of the season and you need us to win, which you won't, you won't need us to win. You'll be safe by then. Um, I hope, I hope. But let me ask, let me ask you this. If, if God forbid, the, the worst does happen and you go down by one or two points and you've had the four points deduction, which isn't Nuno's fault, would mm. Nuno still have not done his job properly? That's just a... a yeah, of because he come in to Forest, but not the bottom three. That's that, and that's what I see as because like I said at the start of the season, and I think for, most first fans will say this, and I, I remember Dave saying it. We're going to have more downs and ups, and it's at the moment it's really it's like we kicked in the face at the moment with it, and we expect to be like talking about this being a being a bottom three. 
my, my issue is, is it, like, and people, when I saw the lineup on Saturday, my first thought, and I got the pitch in right, Alan, I said 1 1. I wasn't confident. I wasn't confident at all. And I don't know who said it. Someone said, Palace, Crystal Palace are a better team than Fulham. Like, no, they're not. They're not a chance. Fulham, Fulham are a better team than Crystal Palace. And I like the you know, but you are. You play good football. And we got William, Mumez, bloody hell. Uh, I mean, yeah. And you got Forest fan Tom, Tom Keeney as well. Bloody hell. And I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried about tomorrow, but I'm not, I can't. I don't want to be football depressed, as, 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 as I will call it. Yeah, what, 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 what is your prediction for tomorrow? My prediction. Yeah. Come on, be real. Don't just say it. Come on, be real. I'm going to go 2-1 Forest. And I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I don't think... I, I, we struggle a lot with after international breaks. We, we do mm. struggle to get the momentum going. And we are a momentum team. Now, if we, if we turn up like we can, mm. then we'll take something from tomorrow. But I just feel tomorrow is a must-win for you. And I just think under the lights at, at the city ground with the crowd behind you. I think, as Jeff's just put, we are a bit hit and miss at times, especially away from home. And he's spot mm. on with that. I just think you're going to get a win from somewhere, whether it's a 90th minute winner, whether it's an own goal, whether it's uh, something. I just Anything. Need to, I yeah, want to win. You just need that bit of luck to change the course of your season. Um, and we, we, we're quite nice like that. We like to gift... Give teams points just, and stuff. Own goal, I, I, I own goal in the 90th minute. That would, that, that would be great. Winning 1 0. I don't care. I just want to win. Win, yeah. be positive, and put a smile on I think it will be 2 1 to, to Forest. I think that that's what the head's saying. But the heart's saying. What, 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 what's your heart saying? To us. The, heart's, the heart's saying it could be 3 0 to us. Um, but that's. I, I see 2 1 Forest more, more likely than the 3 0. Oh. People in the chat, please show some love to Alan. I, yeah, I don't what I don't I don't know if he's been on the on this, but no, it's just a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> 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 Dr. Pepper. I'm tomorrow. Whoa, listen, yeah. I'm I am i am nervous. Boys, what, how, what are you nervous for tomorrow's game? I am. It is a massive you game. You saw um, my you... status on Facebook the other day, Ben. We're we're coming to Forest to aid your survival push. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why we're coming. That's why we're coming. Oh, um, uh, he's actually gonna enjoy it. Oh, he's know. actually a legend, Alan. But Freddie's yeah. Freddie's more of a legend, people. People in the chat, please show some love to Freddie, man. I'm sick of telling him he's smirking. He's still smirking from that final win from um from the, from the little time. So people in the chat, please show we was on the way back from Sheffield United on Saturday, and before we left, actually, it was outside the ground, and now. He, the only time he, people see his face is when we're on on review, you know. And, but they hear his voice, and we've yeah. not done a podcast for a little while on the Green Pole. And someone come past and he went, "We need another podcast." And we were like, "What's, what's he talking about? I don't even know who this, this gentleman is." He went, "Yeah, you're Freddie, aren't you?" I was like, "Oh, okay. So you know him, <laughs> but you don't know me." <laughs> and honestly, all the way home from Sheffield back to London, he had a smile from ear to ear. Oh, yeah, like, Freddie. Yeah. <laughs> He said, "Quiet down, Dad. I'm the famous one here." But I was wondering, there's, there's, there's some guy I don't know who he is. Some, some guy showing some love to you. Some guy called uh, Dave Asprey. Yeah, uh, Dave Asprey. Big up to the legend, Alan. A big up to even legend Julia Pastino. Okay, for that. Well, oh, they, they are people in the chat. Do, I don't, I don't miss Dave on here. They don't. They, this, you know what is right? I don't. I'll tell you something. And people see the, I see other people on the street. Why is Dave Asprey on YouTube more than me? I'm like, I, I don't know. People love Dave. Yeah, we I do love Dave. Ben. And I don't honest, love Dave anymore. I don't love Dave anymore because he's on YouTube why? more than me. He's on YouTube more than me. Like, you know, every, every time I turn YouTube on, it's Dave Asprey. I'm like, why is he on YouTube? <laughs> no, but yeah, Dave, everyone, loved, everyone loved Dave. Dave will be back here soon. Dave, we're back on it. There's one person I want Forrest to win for and stay up for it. Anyone else, it's him. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. Forrest is going to start wanting to be for him. Yeah, 100%. They will all things he's been through, and uh, mm -hmm. and and, 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 and then what if anyone wants a gym with there, ask Dave because he's, he's a um, he's a personal assistant. So people in the chat, if you want, if you want any gym work, 
Good. Well, we're up on Wednesday. We don't come back to London till Thursday. So, Dave, if you're doing nothing on Wednesday, <laughs> you know, because after the game that we when we beat you five 0 I don't want to mention that again, um, Ben. They was actually doing the uh, the little gym session, weren't they, in the park on the way yeah, back? Yeah, my day was doing the running. I can believe, yeah, that's what I'll do, I'll yeah, uh, as well. We was this uh, Mark said, Dave Asprey is a voice of forest. He is, they, everyone knows Dave. Dave's 21 years old, uh, as well. And he, again, I have a YouTube virus, he's a pretty YouTube virus, he's not everywhere. Dave Asprey, everyone knows Dave, um, as well. Um, but yeah, it's been, a, it's been an absolute pleasure, Freddie, again, for coming on my channel. Everyone knows Freddie, uh, but Alex, it's been a pleasure. For coming on my channel as always. Um, that's these two will be here with me tomorrow. Um, and I, I try and get your red channel as well because he's another uh, YouTuber. Um, he does fast content, get one channel as well. Um, but yeah, if anyone sees uh, Freddie, she has some love for Freddie, not Alan. So I've, I've had enough of Alan as well. Um, but people as well, I'm back tomorrow as usual. We'll do our um, I'll do my Scott Pitchings as well. Um, we'll be there, um, I'll be there around five, half five, doing the predictions, but yeah. I'm just begging for a win. I'm YouTube. I'm football depressed. I want to win, and uh, it should be fun. I'll see you on tomorrow. But yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, guys, Freddie. Uh, Freddie, don't forget your scarf. My, my scarf. Okay. You're gonna return it tomorrow. Nah, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. It's, it's, it's Freddie. It's Freddie. Yeah, see. see? Then how nice you are in the next sort of 18 hours, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Legend, absolutely legend for today. But yeah, people, if you are re watching this, uh, get your score prediction as well. Um, just want to win, just want to win. Sick and tired of this draw, last, last, last draw, whatever. Um, but we, we need to win. Um, like I said, I'll be back doing my after game reaction from the game. Um, what else will must be? Um, yeah, preview show. Vlog a lot, uh, so there's loads of videos as well. So please, um, share some love for my channel, subscribe. Please do hit the like button before you leave. And as well, people, I'll be back. I'm back for the review show on Wednesday. That I don't know what time about nine o'clock if I can. Just win for us. That's all that matters. I want to win. I just want to win. I want to wrap that smirk up Ella's face if we can, <laughs> um, because he, I wasn't happy after the game. But I like any other Forest fan wasn't. But uh, but yeah, tomorrow, just be in Forest and I'd be happy. Peace and love. And Vede, up the forest. What? Up the forest. What? Oh, this is shocking. <laughs> Peace and love. Up the forest.